I remember the first time I made a video where I talked about the bad governance of uh, Tinibu's administration. And then someone came for me in the comment section. I had to block the guy. I had, I'm sorry for the noise, it's outside. So I had to block the guy. And uh, yesterday, I was fulfilled because when I block someone from my channel, uh, I kind of feel sad for them in a way. But after yesterday, I was fulfilled. Why? It's because of Idris Abdul Karim. I know a lot of us are familiar with the latest song he dropped, which was titled uh, A Miloko. And for some of you that are not familiar with it, I'm going to be doing a reaction video. And uh, I would like you to join me as I react to this video. And also share what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Are you happy with this administration, with the Tinubu administration, or are you not happy? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, you know what I do. My name is Shooks, and then when I come here on YouTube, I drop the truth. I say the truth from my heart, I get a trending topic, and I say my opinion. I'm not biased, I say it from my heart. And then if you enjoy this kind of stuff, just drop me a like, and also, let me hear your thoughts. I like to hear what you are thinking about when I drop a video. So, let's uh, jump into why we are here and uh, react to this Emilokon video by Idris Abdukai. Let's go, guys. So here is the video, and uh, let's start. So they are your children and your grandchildren. Give them the pardon. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Okay, uh, from the start, you can see that he's very angry from uh, from the onset. He's very angry. And uh, who isn't angry? Nigeria is going, Nigeria is falling deeper and deeper and deeper. I just noticed that yesterday I was uh, Googling something and I noticed that Nigeria is not even the largest GDP anymore. We are fought. We are no more the giant of Africa. South Africa has overtaken us as the giant of Africa. And the funniest thing about that is but nobody is even talking about it. Nobody is even talking about it. Imagine going from number one. If you want to fall below, you can go to number two. But falling from number one to number four, it's a sad, sad, sad reality for all of us. Baby, look on, don't turn, baby, look on. Your bars are screaming. Baby, are crying. Hebrew brothers are saying, no blame them. Hebrews have been discriminated. Even food don't turn to gold in Nigeria. Kidnapping, lucrative business in Nigeria. Imagine seeing your grandchildren where they kidnap. By now, your soldiers for don't scatter Nigeria. How come a man won't get money for ransom when they kidnap him, his wife, and his children? After everything, na kill they go kill them. See, as Naira they fall against dollar. Emilokon, don't turn to Emilokon, and you say make we sacrifice for Nigeria. Vice President, 40 billion for Asurok maintainers, 5 billion for food and refreshment, 100 of millions for dogs and animals. Meanwhile, and the most annoying part of this whole issue is the same politicians that are telling us that there is no money in Nigeria that we should that, that we should fasten our signal and uh, take take better caution are the same people wasting money how can you say there is no money and you are spending billion, billions guys billions of naira renovating a house like make it make sense i always whenever i hear this uh, insane amount of money that our politicians are using to renovate what i ask myself if you tear down the whole building if you tear the whole building down tell me the amount of billions that they are calling will be more than enough to build the house from scratch so why are they calling that amount of billions just for renovation what are you trying to renovate paint the house buy furnitures and the furnitures you are even trying to renovate are still at the best are still the guys let's just keep watching let's keep watching on guard, they kill Nigerians. What do Nigerians do to warrant this treatment? Even Gary, they no fear fought for the family. Tinubu government, them Buhari, Buhari. 
<laughs> Guys, how many of you remember when Gary was uh, the food for the poor? I remember when an average family, a very a poor family, depend on Gary morning, afternoon, night just to make sure that they complete the three square meals. But as I'm talking to you now, one painter of Gary, an average family in Nigeria can't afford one painter of Gary to last them three square meals. <laughs> APC party leader during Mr. Buari Jaga Jaga government. Why didn't you help Buari to solve the problem? Debt under Buari 77 trillion. No proof of any positive transformation. Unborn children now go pay for this evil. You know, say Buari was incompetent, but you still bring him to destroy Nigeria. Party party government, now you are the president. Since Buari don't destroy Nigeria, I hope say you go free bring him to judgment. Emil Philip printed 23 trillion. <laughs> Sure. In the space of eight years, and uh, we still went on to borrow. We still went on and borrowed more than the twenty-seven trillion that Emmy for you printed. So where is all that money going, guys? You see, Nigeria is rich. We are dope. We are dope rich. You know that kind of rich that you can't hide it. That is how rich Nigerians are. But when you come to the country. The country is living in abject poverty. Imagine printing 2020. Yo, it's not even in billion, in trillion, under seven, under eight years, under eight years. And then the worst part that Buhari did, the worst thing Buhari did was two weeks before his tenure ended, Buhari borrowed $850 million. Guys, anytime I remember that money, I'm always angry. Anytime I remember that money, I'm always angry. What is it that you would do with $850 million in two weeks that you didn't do in all of the eight years that you were in office? But uh, I'm not the one saying it. Idris is pointing it out and everybody is saying it in their hearts. But it took Idris' power, it took, him, it took his courage to come out and point it out. And I have to say shout out to him and uh, may God continue to bless him and keep him safe for us. Let's keep uh, watching the video, guys. Within eight years, under Buari government, six million dollars for election observers. They say somebody forged Buari's signature. Now lie, Buari signed that document. Period. Where our refineries, we will not promise to fix. I've been a dango tier refineries would they depend on how much you don't make from removal of subsidies since you don't sell well for 600 per liter. People they sell their properties to feed their families. Meanwhile, you and your cronies they buy more properties. Shout out to Labour Chairman, who now well done. If the government say they no fit pay 65k, then make the pay it one rep. 65k make all of us they enjoy the suffering and smiling what you give is what you deserve but you don't know the free nam the can shout out to very black dark man we're also happy with the name drops that uh, he's doing the thing is he's hitting the nail at the head and uh, he's pointing out the problem nigerians are having guys you see the issue with nigeria is we know the problem with nigeria and we know what will cure our problem but nobody wants to give nigeria the cure nobody and uh, it will take only one person it will take only one person to start a revolution let's see if what he is preaching will kind of motivate nigerians especially the youths people like us to wake up and call bushes on a tinubu stand up let's keep it watching our daddy passed by the boy during good luck jonathan your voice was so loud you even vowed to stake a one million match hunger and hardship under tinubu government you say nigeria gets spiritual problem Baba, we need your one million disciples to protest against president tinubu government just the way you protest against president jonathan daddy i'll be legged on the pain your disciples fact this is a very big hypocrisy it's time for you to speak the truth to power because hunger won't kill nigerians tinubu government Banga. This is a banger. As much as we study the truth, 
Banger. Banger. This is Banger, guys. I'm dropping my life, bro. This is a Banger. Okay guys, I think uh, we've come to the end of uh, today's video and uh, all I have to say is uh, kudos to Idris Abdul Karim. It only takes one person to start a revolution and uh, I'm happy to say we have someone like him and uh, all we hope for is a better government in Nigeria. That's all we hope for. A government that works for its people, not a government that works for himself. What is the way forward in this uh, administration? Let me know down below what you think so far about this music video you see we live in a messed up state now and then all we need all we need is for somebody to come out and say something all we need is a message i think it was the acapella that said that in one of his comments that nigeria is in a messed up age and then we need a message and thanks to idris abdul karim for coming out owning up and uh, saying what he said in his music video. It reminds me of the time of uh, Fela and Balakuti. I know I'm still young to be talking about Fela and Balakuti, but that is true. Fela was the pioneer of talking to politicians and telling them how it is. So kudos to Idris Abdul Karim for doing what he's doing. And uh, with that, I'll be signing out and uh, appreciate it if you drop me a like. Let me hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. And also subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.